Hey everyone, namaste. Welcome to my N5D Facebook Live. You guys all know me, I'm Greg. I'm the owner of N5D.com. And today I got a lot of topics I wanna to cover, and uh, including ascension symptoms, vertigo, I'm gonna to touch on the three waves of energy, um, and the event, and so much going on. And I see everybody filing in right now, and um, thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so while uh, people are filing in right now, I just want to cover a couple things that I've been going through today. Uh, the first thing is um, I was updating my email server for our daily subscribers on N5D, and I, up I upgraded from MailPoet2 to MailPoet3, the premium service, which means that you guys are now gonna get, instead of one email for each article and flooding your inbox, you're gonna get one email with all the articles for that day, one email. And it's sent on their server, so it's super quick, and it's not gonna tie down the N5D server. I have a uh, dedicated server, and it's pretty expensive, but the less you bog down your server, the quicker everyone else is able to get to all the awesome articles on N5D. Um, so that's one thing I was working on, and um, anyone that's visiting in 5D right now, I'm uh, getting a what's called a Cloudflare, and what that does is it basically puts all of your archived stuff, stuff that's been on the internet, into basically what they call the cloud, okay? And uh, it helps the website load even faster. So we're going through a little downtime while Cloudflare is being installed and hopefully it'll be installed uh, within the next couple hours or so and if you're watching this on the replay it's probably already resolved and it's old news but you should notice a, a big difference on how quickly everything uploads on N5D. Okay so um, what I'd like to do while people are still filing in, hide everyone, I'm looking at also trying to keep track here what does one do to get better finances? I'm gonna to have to write that one down. If you have any questions, uh, please start it off with a question mark or a couple of them. And uh, that way it stands out and I'm able to see it uh, a lot easier. And I'm gonna write down, uh, Lar had a question, what does one do to get better finances? Okay. Got it. I'll cover that as we go on. But uh, right now, um, before we get started, I just want to share with you what I do every day, and sometimes two or three times a day. And it's my walk of gratitude. And I'm going to say it slowly, so if you guys want to join me, I, I welcome you to do so. And it's really ultimately to help the world make the world a better place for all of us. So I'll say it slowly, and if you want to join me, Please do. Dear Creator, Source, and Universe, Spirit Guides and Guardian Angels, Friends and Family on both sides of the veil, Galactic Neighbors and Friends, Higher Self and Mother Earth, I'm sorry if I don't say this as often as I should. Please forgive me. Thank you for your unconditional love, safety, support, protection, and abundance in everything that's good in life. as I promise to listen with open eyes, ears, mind, and heart. I ask that you turn on all the codons in my DNA 
and activate all past, current, and future strands of DNA. So I can heal myself and others in humanity's best interests. More than anything, I love you. So thank you for everyone who joined with me on that. I have an article on N5D that I'll put right here. Um, and it basically tells you everything that I just said. And uh, it's basically, it's called Change Your Life with a walk of gratitude. And it's something I do every day. So once again, thank you for joining me. So tonight, I'd like to talk about vertigo because I made a post yesterday. It was a quick energy update. And I mentioned about how this all of a sudden came on to me. But before I get to that, I want to talk a little about the event and what happened at last week's N5D beach meetup. So one of the first things I was talking about at the meetup was the event, what's going to happen. And well, what happens before the event is that these there's these three waves of energy. And what I saw was three tidal waves, the first two converge and the last one's like a cleansing wave and uh, when the first two, when I saw the first one coming I turned around and I was going to go into a beach house and there was a second one that I estimated to be about 10 times larger than the first one coming from the opposite direction so I see a beach house and I run inside there and the waves converge over me and then they reside but while the waves were over me, there was a window there. And I could stick my hand through the window and touch the water. And there was absolutely no fear whatsoever. It was actually a really cool dream. So I get out of the house and I look up and over in the opposite direction, again, comes another tidal wave. So I go back in the house, the water washes over and goes back again. And I get out of the house and this time, I remembered that my truck, which I don't own a truck, but my truck was up on the top of this hill or mountain. So I go up there and the energy had changed completely to unconditional love. So I posted this video about the three waves, these three tidal waves. It's not what you think it is because what it is, is these are three waves of energy. Water is a mutable energy. It can be solid, liquid, gas, so these are waves of energy that are coming. So when I posted that video, not only did so many other people say that they've had these dreams of tidal waves that, and they felt calm and relaxed, and it was a beautiful thing, not anything to fear, but also there was a number of people who said they saw three waves as well. So what this says is that we're, many of us are drawing from the, the aether the same message basically using our antennas to make that connection um, and get the same message and it's all of us that are putting this out there to help you guys understand this is where we're heading and it's an amazing thing it's a beautiful process now one thing I don't get is dates and I'm always kind of skeptical of anyone that does give a date because I think you know Time is only relative to this third dimensional construct. If somebody outside of this third dimensional construct is trying to give you a date, they really have no concept of what, you know, October 4th or October 3rd is, you know? It, it's completely beyond. Um, so, as, you know, when, as a matter of fact, when you're on the other side of the veil, there is no time. <laughs> so, you know, how, how can you get a date from somebody that has no concept of time? You can't. And one thing I've never gotten was dates, but we all feel this happening, that it's, it's impending, it's going to happen. We all feel it in our blood and in, in our hearts. So the next piece of the clue I got was this vision. And as many of you know, I'm a visionary. I see things before they happen. And uh, 
this time I saw myself standing in front of myself and I was looking at toward the back of my head and in the blink of an eye white light floods the planet and that's the exact word I use floods the planet just like the waves of energy floods energy so energy floods the planet and when that happens the only way I can really describe it the feeling that you get is source energy pure source energy okay imagine the one thing that you love the most on this planet for me it's my daughter Brittany love her more than anything. If it wasn't for my daughter, Brittany, in 5D, it wouldn't exist, and we, we wouldn't be having this Facebook Live. So imagine that one thing, or those that one person or people that you love more than anything else in the world. Magnify that a million times, and I'm underestimating the number a million, completely underestimating it. I can't put a number on it. When this white light floods the planet, the only thing you'll feel is perfect, unconditional love. You couldn't think of anything to get you upset at that point. There's no fear whatsoever. Why would you fear anything at that point? All you feel is that love. There's no retribution or hatred. You're not gonna turn around and then all of a sudden say, well, you know, this person's been a fucktard and, <laughs> and, and do something like that. All you feel is that love. And with love comes all the other positive emotions that go along with it, with forgiveness and gratitude and all that. All third dimensional worries like money, government, politics, religion, all that stuff is gone. You're having a you know bad relationship with your, your spouse or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. It's, it's no, no longer existent. You know, if your your boss is a fucktard, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> you know, the only thing you will feel is that perfect, unconditional love when this white light floods the planet, and that's where we're heading. And it's up to me. And this is one of the jobs I have, and this is what I got through my galactic download, is that I need to help raise the critical mass to get us to that point. And I appreciate everyone sharing articles and uh, posts on M5D because that really does help raise the critical mass and uh, helps also to bring star family and soul groups together, which we're all tied together in any way. If you're listening, you're all tied in with me and vice versa. So sending you, you guys all much love and for being uh, part of this amazing experience. Now, if that wasn't enough, getting back to the N5D Beach Meetup I had a week ago from this past Sunday, there was a girl there. Her name's Krista, and she had a near-death experience. And in her near-death experience, she basically saw the same thing that I saw, that whole feeling of unconditional love and she said the same thing you can't put a number on it how many times more of the love that you feel when you're in this pure source consciousness energy um, so it's just once again confirmation um, and I'm sure there's other people that have experienced this I know that I've, I've brought this up before and other people have made comments that they've been there, they've experienced it. And yes, it's totally indescribable, the energy that you're gonna feel when that happens. And it's gonna happen, just don't know when, but we, like I said, we feel that it's you know inevitably going to happen. So, you know, I've been, after the beach meetup, I, I met with um, uh, Rebe uh, uh, Rebecca, who, uh, I'm not gonna mention any last names on here, but um, I met with her, uh, she came there with um, a friend of hers, and uh, we decided to meet up afterwards. And she was telling me, we spent the day here on uh, Siesta Key, and uh, she was telling me about how she's been experiencing vertigo. Now, I've read about it, never experienced it, but just two days ago, bam, <laughs> all of a sudden, I've got it. 
I remember I, I went down to bend over to, to get something out of my refrigerator and I stood up and I, I, I lost balance. It was that, it hit me that hard. Um, and all throughout the day, I could feel it. And she said that she's been experiencing, experiencing this vertigo for years. And uh, so, and sometimes it's more prominent than others. And, you know, I, I made the post on N5D as well as my personal Facebook page. And these are just a few of the responses. I'm gonna read them to you because it's really important that you, know, you understand that we're all going through something synchronistically together. So Stacy said, yeah, my head felt so full and it had strange pressure in it for most of the weekend. Never had anything like that before. Sunny said, dude, got hit by an energy wave last night from left to right, ringing so much so much vertigo, I got nauseated. Kathy said, oh my God, I was totally dizzy at my yoga class and had to just lay out because I couldn't lift my head without swirling. I had it yesterday and today, just out of the blue, just like me. And then Liz said, similar to Rebecca, her started in 2012 with the ringing in her ears. She said, she goes on to say, I feel it's frequencies, you're balancing veils lifting, dimensions changing, getting used to multi-dimensional and 3D bodies. And I love that explanation. Rob says he's been getting it for a few days now. Feels like I lost this past week and weekend. Debbie said, yes, got it strong today, wow. Patricia, I look forward to hearing your view on this. I never had vertigo before now, but have had it since August. Uh, Jackie, totally me today. I even missed the last step on the stairs this morning and I fell at home. Work was a toughie because I had a hard time standing this evening. Callie said, I had it so bad I fell flat on my face. And then Jackie said, me too. I don't know how I totally missed the last step. So dizzy. Fred goes on to say, things I've noticed recently, can't walk that long in the streets, feel like the world is spinning. Good thing you wrote something about this, a sigh of relief. Uh, Vicki, I have, I have that every so often, had a bad for two days straight and a couple of days ago. Karen, Karen says she's had it for a while now. Amy says I've been experiencing vertigo for about four days now on and off. That's amazing you brought this to my attention. Diane goes on to say, wow, yes, I've had it as well, which is not something I'm accustomed to, so it caught me off guard. Uh, Kaz goes on to say, been bad this past week with me, been doing a lot of grounding work, but as soon as I've stopped, it's right back again, and I'm exactly with you, because I'll go to the beach, and I went there for an hour today, and I felt great, and I came back, and it came back again. Sandra, I also have vertigo for the first time for the last four days almost fell a few times, was wondering if it was ascension related. Uh, Marilyn, usually I have vertigo a couple days before the full moon, and here we are approaching the full moon. And finally, Chantel says, oh my God, it just hit me an hour ago. I've been deep breathing and sipping water, no fun, looking forward to your input. Well, that's why I'm here and that's what I'm gonna do. And I appreciate all the comments that you guys have had and are making right now. <laughs> Nicole Marie says, I love that word, fucktard, LOL. <laughs> it's a funny word to use, you know, and I say it just in jest. So, on N5D, I researched vertigo. And as you guys know, there's thousands of articles on there. All you got to do is go to the right hand corner of any page on N5D and you'll, there's a search button and just type in whatever you're looking for and chances are you'll find it here on N5D. Except while I'm going through an upgrade with a Cloudflare. <laughs> the site's probably gonna be down right now. But if you're watching this on a recorded version, it'll be fine. Uh, if you're on a cell phone, all you gotta do is scroll down until you get past the articles and there's a search box there. So search for anything on N5D and chances are you'll find it there. Now here are some of the articles that I found that are in relation, but, and I'm gonna read some of this stuff to you, but there's also something that I've came up with that's pretty profound afterwards that I was guided to tell you. 
So there's an article called Transmutational Ascension Symptoms. And it's by Sabrina Reber. And she talks about vertigo, dizziness, and spaciness. A lot is going on in our brains, the right and left sides of the brains. Our masculine and feminine energies are being balanced. And the pineal, pituitary, and hypothalamus glands are being activated. We are also having a difficult time staying grounded because of the higher energies from the galactic center and of our God self entering through the crown chakra. Daily grounding exercises and expanding and growing energetic roots out of our root chakra into the earth will be helpful. And she mentioned the same thing, doing the grounding. Make sure you do get the grounding because what we're seeing, I mentioned this time and time again, people who are not grounding are getting mentally unstable and they're just losing it. So make sure you get out there and ground, whether it's at a lake, in a park, or even holding like a black tourmaline or a black obsidian stone. You know, if you have no place to go, do that. Okay, there in an article called Shift Symptoms While Going from a Carbon Base to a Crystalline Crystalline Silicon uh, Body. Uh, this is from the book Diamond Codes, Light Information for the New Reality by Celia Fenn. She goes on to talk about dizziness, loss of balance, vertigo, and spinning. And she says this happens when our Merkaba is forming. The Merkaba is a transportation vehicle of the light body. It is a sixth dimensional cube that rotates and spins. During its formation, you may feel periods of dizziness and vertigo as the cube calibrates itself with your energy. When this happens, sit down and take a break for a little while. It usually doesn't last too long. Well, what we're seeing is it is happening a little bit longer now. So I think maybe the, maybe the term of what she described has changed a little bit as this is happening to many of us. And with each one of these articles, what I'll do is I'll go back through this Facebook Live and the recorded version, and I'll put a link to all the articles um, in here at the point of where I'm re uh, reading them so you guys can check them out yourselves. Uh, in this article, 14 Unique Symptoms of a Spiritual Awakening by Andrea Schulman. Andrea says that the process of ascension is one of transformation and change. As our energy ascends, sometimes you may feel off balance. Deep breathing and meditation can help ground you if you are experiencing vertigo. Once again, grounding techniques. Get yourself grounded. If you're feeling that vertigo, get yourself grounded. And uh, the last one is from an energy update, physical cleansing and pineal gland act activation. And this is by Lisa Brown. And she goes on to say, when gravity goes as your heart opens, your head is taken offline. Your body goes weak for a while. Some call it vertigo, a human word for your soul waking up inside. Your eyes can't focus. You can't stay awake. You feel like you're walking in a foggy, groggy dream. You can't remember simple things as you shift dimensionally. So we see a common theme here that is part of the ascension symptoms. Now, there are medical symptoms that are related to vertigo. And if you're feeling that this is a medical issue, by all means, get checked out by a doctor. But when so many people are experiencing these symptoms at the same time, there's gotta be something more to it. It just doesn't happen to literally tens of thousands of people on the same day all at once. There's something greater and deeper to it. So this is what I got out of it. And it's something that nobody else was writing about. And this is what I was shown. Obviously, there's the reptilian brain in the back of your head. This is where I was. If I had to pinpoint the location of where the vertigo was emanating from, I would say it would be back there in that general area. What I also felt was a, a slight pressure um, on my forehead where the pineal gland is as well. So there's two different pressures that are going on. So what I'm being shown is that the reptilian brain is dissolving or 
actually disengaging would be a better word, I think. Um, the reptilian brain is the gives us the flight or flight, fight or flight mechanism, and it really ends up making people overthink a lot of things and uh, making you live in fear. That's that where that fight or flight mechanism comes from. It's basically telling us to get out of our heads and into our hearts. Now, when the sperm fertilizes the egg, do you guys know the first thing to form? The heart. And everything forms from there and grows outwards. There's an interesting article that I have on N5D. It's called, The Heart Has Its Own Brain and Consciousness. Uh, I'd like to read you guys an excerpt from that. <clears throat> the heart is now recognized by scientists as a highly complex system with its own functional brain. The heart generates the body's most powerful and most extensive rhythmic electromagnetic field. Compared to the electromagnetic field produced by the brain, the electrical component of the heart's field is about 60 times greater in amplitude and permeates every cell in the body. The magnetic component is approximately 5,000 times stronger than the brain's magnetic field and can be de detected several feet away from the body with sensitive magnetometers. So, it all makes sense. When you go into the heart, when you ground, the vertigo subsides and goes away. But also realize that this is part of your awakening process. Um, and as long as you're not feeling that it is medically related to something else, tune into it, go with it. Um, realize that you're growing uh, spiritually and this is part of your rebirth that you're going through right now. I guess I'd like to close off if there's no questions here. I haven't really been paying attention there. And what I'll end up doing is probably I'll go back and <laughs> read all the questions again and do a subsequent uh, video where I address the questions. But uh, once again, I, I find it, I have to tell you guys, because this is what my guys tell me. And anyone know, that knows me knows my guys have been right 100% of the time. And they, they keep telling me this to tell you guys over and over and over again. It's so important that, that I tell you this. Love, number one, love, just love, okay? Express gratitude, be grateful for the things that are in your life. There's so much good that's going on. Um, just the fact that you wake up the, the, the next day and there's a roof over your head and you had something to eat. And there's so many more other blessings than that, but just express gratitude for the simplest things in life. Forgive, that's huge. You don't want to walk around hating people. It, you want to clear that karma. And what we're finding right now is that karma is instantaneous. Things are happening so quickly right now. And when you put out those bad vibes to other people, it comes back at you instantaneously. So forgive and move on. And remember to forgive yourself as well, okay? Maintain a high vibration, uh, that's, huge you know you just want to walk around exuding that light that you are a true source energy put it out there when I do my walk of gratitude at the end I do what I call a love bubble meditation and I ask that I ask my posse you know creator source universe spirit guides guardian angels right down the line I ask them to join me in a love bubble med meditation where they send out loving healing energy from their heart center and extend it out as far as they can throughout the planet galaxy universe multiverse and omniverse and uh you know that that's what we do and then we take that light energy and we just spread it out as far as we can so maintain that high vibration because other people are going to be picking up on it and you're i, I guarantee you're picking it up on it right now you can feel it right now i guarantee it and the last thing is grounding. Make sure you ground. Um, that is one of the biggest things you can do to get out of a spiritual funk. Uh, get out in nature. 
go to a park, go to a beach, go to a lake, go out in the snow if it's snowing where you are, you know, just make that connection and get out and make that connection and, and, and just allow Mother Earth to absorb your energy. Send it down and then send it right back up through to the uh, galactic core and uh, you'll feel a gajillion times better. So that's where I'm going to pretty much leave it off right now. Um, and uh, in an upcoming Facebook Live, this is interesting because I'm working on an article. I've been putting together why is it that all of a sudden so many people are really tired and then the week later, the ones, many of us that were tired have all this energy and I can't figure out why. Well, I'm starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together and it has everything to do with solar flares, X flares, coronal mass ejections, what the sun is going, what's going on with the sun has a direct correlation with what's going on with our own circadian rhythms. And I'm sure that the moon and the moon cycles are tied in with this as well. But you know, you, there'll be times where we find that we're sleeping a lot and other times that our energy is just off the boards. I remember one time I went through that period of sleeping a lot and then once I got over it, I was up for like 27, 28 hours straight without needing to sleep. And not only was I going through that, I document everything. I'll make little posts on my Facebook page. So if you're not following me, please follow me and then join in. But I'll make posts on there and so many other people are going through the same things that I am. So I highly encourage you as well on your Facebook page to document everything that's going on. When you have these strange anomalies that are going on in your life, put it out there because I guarantee there's many other people that are going through the same thing that we're going through right now. So, oh, as a matter of fact, that was one comment also by uh, this woman. And she, she's putting the pieces of the puzzle together too. And one of the comments I got on the vertigo, she goes, usually I have vertigo a couple days before the full moon. So this helps by putting that out there, this helps all of us put these pieces of the puzzle together until we get it all down. So I guess that's going to wrap it up for here. Thank you for joining me and sharing your thoughts and energy. And until the next time, namaste everyone. I love you all.